सदाशिव सरंभाम शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा we completed the second chapter of naishkarmya siddhi today we are going to enter the third chapter this chapter is very very important chapter in which sureshwara acharya analyze the mahavakya tattvam asi aham brahmasmi mahavakyas and in the beginning he gives a big introduction very very big introduction about mula vidya mula means basic avidya means ignorance basic ignorance is called mula vidya the introduction about mula vidya very deep analysis but the later chapter is uh, mahavakya vichara by which she analysis we can come to claim that i am brahman alone i cannot be anything else other than brahman that knowledge will come by mahavakya vichara therefore shastra says uh, in the wake of knowledge a person recognize that there is no anatma at all in the wake of knowledge the gnani he becomes or she becomes a gnani gnani recognizes discover that there is no second thing called anatma at any period of time that is the clear understanding of a gnani if i am a gnani that is my true knowledge real knowledge upanishad says yasmin sarvam atmaiva bhut tatra kena kam pashyet kena vijaniyat that is there tatra ko mohaha kashokaha ekatva manupashyataha the one who sees ekatvam everywhere because everything is atma alone the appearance of dvaitam duality is because of ignorance since he has got the knowledge gnanam agnanam has gone went away for goodness uh, then he person recognize there is no second thing at all so very very big transformation in the thinking pattern of a gnani cognitive change in pujya dayananda swami ji's words it is called a cognitive change nothing else discovery discovery means what uh, removing the cover what is that cover agnanam that is called discover discovery na any invention is also they call it as discovery as a vedantic student uh, what discovery i am doing here what is my discovery agnanam is covering my real nature i discover remove the cover by mahavakya vichara 
therefore ajnanam and its product what is the product of ajnanam kutti 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 potadu nu solla illaya children grandchildren great grandchildren like that ajnanam also has got lot of babies <laughs> ajnanam once knowledge comes it destroys ajnanam atma ajnanam once it destroys atma ajnanam its pro- ajnanam products what are they world body mind all these are the products of ajnanam moola vidya atma ajnanam we are not talking in ajnanam which is located in the mind in one particular mind there is ajnanam i don't know this i don't know this that ignorance is not we are talking here we are talking about basic ignorance moola vidya in which the mind is also there the mind moola vidya projects the mind then mind projects the world moola vidya is not in the mind located in the mind be careful you have to understand chemistry ignorance physics ignorance computer ignorance are there in the mind since we are talking the basic ignorance it is not a particular ignorance or located in the mind about particular subject we have to understand because we talk about ignorance so many ignorances <laughs> lot of ignorance astrology ignorance astronomy ignorance hmm? geography ignorance zoology ignorance there are lot of ignorances there are varieties of ignorances but we are not bothering about that uh, chemistry physics zoology botany or sociology or politics ignorance we are talking a special ignorance we are talking about a special ignorance all other ignorances are in the mind but uh, moola vidya is the pra- producer of the mind moola vidya atma ajnanam is the producer of the mind mind is the producer or projector moola vidya project the mind mind project the world moola vidya project the mind then mind project the world and that mind can have many ignorances about many things so see the difference here very carefully we have to note otherwise you will uh, get into confusion out again i am repeating deliberately because what we know ignorance that is not at all connected here that ignorance this ignorance that object ignorance this object ignorance keep it aside completely how because that uh, worldly ignorance of so many subjects it is there in the mind now what we are talking here moola vidya basic ignorance which is the projector of the mind later very much later only other ignorances subjects topics and all we are going to the root level very very deep root level what is that root level all ignorances are there located in the mind really speaking this mind itself is the projector of moola vidya moola vidya project the mind then this mind project the world this is the basic difference between moola vidya and thula vidya you remember that word thula vidya naishkarma siddhi students are supposed to be very 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 brilliant sharp senior students then only you can follow 
the subject is more terse and terse and terse day by day day by day means you are seeing how difficult it is vichara sagara and this naishkarma uh, siddhi all are very important for a deep understanding clear understanding it's not a casual study now only i am understanding swamini how depth is there in the shastra never consider i am listening from swamini from so many years huh? i am also a senior student no you cannot conclude because of many years of experience of study how much you are grasping how much you are analytically uh, following the teaching of the teacher without any doubts confusions are you getting clarity so that is the point to to be that is the standard not the how many days how many years i am studying see this mula vidya now tula vidya mula vidya i don't want to explain again tula vidya what is tula vidya no, you must know that you are supposed to remember that tula vidya if you are a brilliant student you remember <laughs> okay if you are so so student means you will forget if you forget it's no wonder if you don't forget it's a great wonder <laughs> okay tula vidya in vichara sagara also many times we saw in naishkarma siddhi also we saw so therefore mula vidya mula vidya that ignorance which is in the mind what they are talking in the world is tula vidya we are not bothering about tula vidya mula vidya atma ajnanam basic ignorance next point whatever is born out of mula vidya is mithya what is the first point i said Uh, knowledge removes ignorance knowledge alone is the destroyer of ignorance in the second chapter sureshwar acharya divided entire universe into atma anatma two two categories anatma category atma category in the second chapter what was his conclusion anatma hai hi nahi there is no anatma at all after doing lot of panchakosha viveka shariratraya viveka everything done and done and it is done <laughs> done and none are it is useless all anatma put in dustbin no use further after getting gnanam you understand it is mithya why it is a product of ignorance so this is the second point mula vidya is the producer of mind mind is the producer of the world therefore knowledge destroys ignorance and its products mano nashah mano nashah idam sarvam yadayam atma idam sarvam everything is atma that is the knowledge for that uh, we saw that example roof snake how is it difficult to swami how to make, falsify the universe how to negate the universe in a simple whatever is projected by the mula vidya because the world is projected by the mind mind is projected by the mula vidya therefore mula vidya directly destroy that what igna mula vidya is destroyed by self knowledge directly self knowledge destroy mula vidya directly and self knowledge along with the destruction of mula vidya it destroys its products mind body world it falsifies badhana just like uh, the moment you get a uh, rope uh, knowledge rope snake disappears no further discussion about the rope snake 
वॉट यू अंडरस्टैंड रूप स्नेक है ही नहीं वेन आई से फर्स्ट अनात्मा इज नॉट देयर वॉज नॉट देयर इज नॉट देयर विल नॉट बी देयर नॉन सेल्फ इज नॉट देयर रियली स्पीकिंग बॉडी माइंड वर्ल्ड देयर ओनली वाचा रंभणम अनात्मा not there really when i say darshtanta you say it's very difficult to very difficult it is born out of ignorance it can be destroyed world mind body all can be destroyed means what destroyed means what destruction of rope snake is what ha huh? destruction of rope snake rajju sarpaha destruction of rope snake i understand the example same you apply to the ashtanga when you get the rope knowledge you destroy the rope snake sarpa how you destroyed how you destroyed have you taken stick and killed it have you called a snake charma no nothing when you put light snake disappear snake went away where it went back door or right side door front door tell me which side it has gone what muhurtam time it has gone once you put the light sufficient light is there you got the rope knowledge how much time it will take the rope snake that to disappear which side it disappears how it disappears in what speed it disappears it movements all these discussions comes there not at all you understand snake need not go false snake need not go false snake need not disappear all these statements are wrong false snake disappearance false snake no going all these are wrong statements correct wrong statements are not very much wrong statements what is your statement there is no snake to go there is no snake to disappear i understand there is no snake there was rope there is rope there will be rope snake only appeared because of my ignorance means darkness semi darkness the moment light has come semi darkness has gone in the light of knowledge similarly there light here light of knowledge atma gnana atma gnana that alone they call it as jyoti prakasha light people are thinking what is light what is light what is light when i will see the light na just as in light you see the things similarly atma gnanam is compared to the light in which atma gnanam presence you get the knowledge of atma the ignorance goes away just like uh, one student asked me one question mm, ज्ञानाग्निदग्धकर्माण भस्मसात्कुतेर्जुन ऐ एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट स्टूडेंट आस्कड ए क्वेश्चन स्वामीनी स्वामीनीजी हाउ ओ दिस अग्नि लाड़ कृष्ण सेड ज्ञानाग्नि दग्धकर्माण दग्ध मीन्स बर्न बर्ट डॉ दे सर्वकर्मा हाउ इट बर्न्स हाउ अग्नि कैन बर्न द कर्म is not agni exactly gnanam is compared to agni it is not literal agni the word is used to gnana agni dagdha karmana 
that means fire is coming and burning the karmas karma is an uh, abstract entity karma word karma that to burn your karmas how it can burn fire fire cannot burn that karmas what it means uh, just a comparison just as fire burns everything gnanam is compared to fire just as fire burns everything every object similarly gnanam also atma gnanam also falsify all these karmas sanchita agami and prarabdha all these are sanchita is burnt down okay prarabdha which ko prarabdha exhausted agami avoided agami karma avoided sanchita karma burnt down we should not take literally gnanam is compared to agni therefore the literal meaning we should not take what is the hidden meaning we have to understand how many chapters we have studied is not the question there's a proper study of uh, bhagavad gita proper understanding from a proper teacher for a length of time is important if you won't study like this we get lot of doubts the more you listen and understand the snake went away gone and disappeared all these statements are wrong you understand there is no snake at all there was no snake it is only appearance in semi darkness same rope snake how many times i am talking hundreds and thousands of times we are discussing about it but again and again you are listening again and again you get more and more clarity so snake hai hi nahi is not there at all same way anatma is not there at all jnani understands rope jnani the wise person of that rope hmm? wise rope wise person okay rope wise person means a person who knows the it is rope as rope that's a rope wise person rope wise person can say there was no snake there is no snake correct same way same way gnani says there is no anatma body mind world only appearance only appearance really it is not there that means agnyanam removes only mithya vastu any mithya vastu born out of ignorance only since it is born out of ignorance gnanam alone is the solution gnanam destroys mithya vastu this is next corollary gnanam destroys mithya vastu that's why atma gnanam falsify the mind atma gnanam falsify the world atma gnanam falsify the body why they are all born out of ignorance Ag- ignorance is removed by knowledge atma gnanam mula vidya is destroyed by atma gnanam atma gnanam destroys mula vidya mula vidya products body mind world also falsified that means gnani is there in the body or not he is there very much using the mind or not very much using seeing the world or not gnani is seeing the world or not seeing very much as everybody is seeing he is also seeing but gnani is internal mind intellectual level gnani understands nobody knows outside that gnani only knows palm kal palm gada theriyam have you seen any snake uh, uh, legs snake has snake foot snake foot have you seen you cannot see snake kal illiya swami anna snake only knows that 
like that here also mula vidya is called maya mula vidya is called prakriti mula vidya is called avyaktam mula vidya is called yoga nidra mula vidya is called sushupti maha sushupti these are all names okay so mula vidya goes by a special knowledge physics ignorance goes by physics knowledge chemistry ignorance goes by chemistry knowledge idella theriyu swamini vichara sagaralu patrika nariya adi madri mula vidya goes by special knowledge that is mahavakya vichara dwara tattvamasi mahavakya vichara dwara that given in vedanta upanishads therefore that is um, Uh, knowledge generated by mahavakya vichara will be the remedy for the destruction of mula vidya now the next point um, anatma vidya mula vidya and anatma also uh, anatma is the product uh, so anatma also it is destroyed correct so atma gnanam destroys mula vidya as as well as along with that anatma also that you have to note hmm enak nalla gnanam vandhi swami ni you are telling very nicely teaching very nicely i have understood but but Uh, this problem mental mind problems emotional problems still they are lurking lot of worries anxiety na adena en ardham purinjada purilanna purinjadi purila nu sollanam idha not a joke so you are the proof for your knowledge okay that's why many many people get deluded in spite of studying shastra unless you have guru krupa shastra krupa ishvara krupa it is not a joke atma also will hide behind therefore surrender surrender complete your ahankara has to be surrendered completely ahankara means not pride the individuality ines and minus as long as you hold on to ines and minus en nanu ennudeyadi idu irukkara varaku inda gnanam varave varadu anale after studying lot of things edo i have understood understood people get brahma and the brahma la da irupa shastra everywhere is questioning have you dropped that ines individuality and minus mamakara have you dropped ahankara mamakara in the rendu vidamata in the rendu vidamata anaalu purinchina maadri idku anaalu idu puriyale swami ninna e anna ahankara mamakara you have not attacked your ahankara mamakara that's why you ask bhagwan bhagwan take away my ahankara individuality and mamakara also please please and you have to plead <laughs> hmm? ప్లీజ్ భగవాన్ అని నీ హ్యావ్ టు ప్లీడ్ భగవాన్ ఓకే అది ద విషయం దేర్ ఫోర్ కారక క్రియ ఆల్ వ్యవహార కారక క్రియా ఫల కర్మ వ్యవహార ఆర్ ఆల్ ఫాల్సిఫైడ్ వ్యవహారిక సత్యం దెన్ జ్ఞానం వ్యవహార ప్రమాద ప్రమాణ ప్రమేయ ప్రమా ఆల్ జ్ఞానం వ్యవహార ఆల్సో ఫాల్సిఫైడ్ దేర్ ఫోర్ దేర్ ఫోర్ వాట్ సకుటుంబ సమేతముగా అన్న సకుటుంబ సమేతం అన్న అన్న అర్థం అన్న ఫ్యామిలీ ప్రొసెషన్ ప్రొఫెషన్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈజ్ క్లియర్ లైన్ క్లియర్ అని అర్థం సో దిస్ చాప్టర్ ఈజ్ మహావాక్య విచార చాప్టర్ ఓన్లీ బట్ మూల విద్య నరియ పడికడమే ఇన్ ద పారాగ్రాఫ్ ముడి టోటల్ ఫస్ట్ పారాగ్రాఫ్ ముడికిరదికే నమ్మకు ఎత్తన క్లాస్ ఆహమో తెలియదు ఏన్న అవళ్ళ డీప్గా పోరారు ఇప్పుడు ఎంక్వైరీ ఇంటూ మూలా విద్య ఫోర్ టాపిక్స్ ఆర్ కమింగ్ ఫస్ట్ బిఫోర్ 
going to that mahavakya vichara first he want to um, show that why you are struggling for mahavakya vichara first of all that mahavakya vichara removes mula vidya what is mula vidya understand first that is what suresh acharya is doing now four topics um, uh, we have to understand here for um, before going to that mahavakya vichara four important principles to be known definitely one is um, any type of very very important portion before entering the text uh, i am giving the whole background otherwise uh, words if i go on reading you cannot follow very difficult that's why base and <laughs> like foundation i am putting okay any type of ignorance is um, um, abiding resting it's a locus associated always associated with a sentient entity very very important point vichara sagara subject going very closely to vichara sagara last two classes <laughs> okay so who are all attending vichara sagara for those students this class is very simple if not koncham kashtam okay so ignorance always always associated with a sentient entity as its locus point number 1 first principle number 1 sentient means chetanam entity so sentient being is the as its locus mula vidya has got a sentient being as its locus okay as its locus called um, um, an ignorant person anartham okay an sentient being human being who is sentient being human being this is what we say in vichara sagara jeevashrayam va brahmashrayam va uh, pura pakshi is telling jeevashrayam an oh, and the bhasha nan use pand laipo in the vere bhasha avada okay subject is same so sentient being sentient being is a person so uh, a person Uh, is the locus for ignorance which person sentient person sentient being is the locus for the ignorance point number 1 number 2 it is called uh, locus of uh, ignorance uh, who is the locus of ignorance no, the person is the locus of ignorance avanukku agnyanam irukke mula agnana mirka atma agnana eng irka na sentient being la irka person la irka na artham so ignorant being is the ashraya of avidya ignorant being is ashraya of ashraya means locus of place of abode of avidya mula avidya this is um, um so sentient being is the number 1 point number 1 point number 2 is the um, ignorant person is the locus of mula vidya first point is what sentient being i said uh, sentient being second point ignorant being sentient being is human being ignorant person is the locus of mula vidya this is the uh, second point now the next argument next argument next principle we can say ignorance of what you can remember vichara sagara class ignorant ignorant of what ignorant person that ignorance is in sentient being the sentient being is the person a person is ignorant when you say ignorance is in that person so two points over next point <coughs> is ignorance of what 
ignorance apart you have to keep all other ignorances outside okay when i talk about them that ignorance only you have to think otherwise you take only mula vidya ajnanam must have ashraya now ashraya has come ashraya has come but vishaya is what vishaya is kaha object of knowledge is called vishayaha object of knowledge is called vishayaha this ignorant person is ignorant of what about to what knowledge he is lacking i am putting in another way round okay ignorant being is the ashraya of ignorance that's why he is called ignorant person ignorance he is having mula vidya is there atma ajnanam is there he is the locus atma ajnanam is there so atma is the vishaya vishaya is what vishaya kaha principle is jnanam uh, can destroy ajnanam only if the locus is the object of the same and there important analysis last class also we saw again it's like a big revision like knowledge can destroy the ignorance of that same locus that means the ignorant person only have got ignorance in that person only that vishaya also knowledge of that vishaya also work on that individual only not anybody else kuncho gadabida irku solre so ignorant person he is ignorant of self atma ajnanam is there so guru has come mahavakya has come to remove the ignorance so the ignorance to be removed in that same person or different person vishaya is atma brahman brahman is the vishaya so that ignorant being who is ignorant of uh, atma who is having mula vidya this knowledge can destroy that ignorance of that person or some other person subject must be the same person also must be the same for example simple for example i have um, music ignorance hmm? music ignorance i am the locus of ignorance i don't have music ignorance i know little bit in music okay but time being i will tell you hmm? i am um, the locus of music ignorance so i need music knowledge so music knowledge destroy my music ignorance so music knowledge destroy my music ignorance of me or somebody else me alone that's a samana ashraya samana vishaya not different subject i want to be free from music ignorance and other person comes i will teach you uh, computer and no i want to be free from music you cannot give computer knowledge computer knowledge cannot remove my music ignorance subject also must be the same similarly person also you have to remove my ignorance music ignorance not my friend not my friend ignorance my ignorance only that to music ignorance only to be removed this is called samana ashraya samana vishaya tat tat jnanam tat tat ashraya tat tat vishayaka tat tat ajnanam tat tat ashrayaka tat tat vishayaka gnanena nashayati you remember these words okay therefore samana ashraya and vishaya is very important to destroy ajnanam okay 
సమాన ఆశ్రయ సమాన విషయ ఈజ్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టు డెస్ట్రాయ్ అజ్ఞానం దెన్ వాట్ ఈజ్ ద ఆశ్రయ ఆఫ్ మూల విద్య ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద విషయ ఆఫ్ మూల విద్య ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ మూల విద్య సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద టూ క్వశ్చన్స్ రేజ్డ్ బై సురేశ్వరాచార్య హీ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ ఆన్సర్ దట్ అండ్ నౌ యూ సీ ఇగ్నరెన్స్ సపోజ్ ఇగ్నరెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఆత్మ వై దిస్ ఇగ్నరెన్స్ ఈజ్ దేర్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ మూల విద్య హూ ఆర్ ద ప్రోడక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ మూల విద్య మైండ్ బాడీ వరల్డ్ వాట్ అబౌట్ గాడ్ వాట్ అబౌట్ గాడ్ ఈశ్వర సో సంబడి వన్ స్టూడెంట్ ఆస్కింగ్ స్వామిని దిస్ తుకారామ్ అండ్ ఆల్ మెనీ మెనీ భక్త ట్రావెలింగ్ ఆఫ్టర్ డెత్ దే ఆర్ ట్రావెలింగ్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ ఎ డివోటీస్ భక్త అదర్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ సీయింగ్ సమ్ విమానం కేమ్ అండ్ హీ ట్రావెల్డ్ అండ్ హీ వాజ్ టేకెన్ బై దేవదూతాస్ ఈజ్ ఇట్ రియల్ ఆర్ అన్రియల్ లైక్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆస్క్ నథింగ్ రాంగ్ ఇన్ ఆస్కింగ్ జనరలీ డౌట్స్ విల్ కమ్ లైక్ దాట్ హీ ట్రావెల్డ్ దట్ ఆల్సో మై బ్రదర్ ఆస్ మై బ్రదర్ యూస్ టు సే దాట్ హీ హ్యాస్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ భక్తి హీ యూస్ టు థింక్ లైక్ దాట్ ఓన్లీ నాట్ ఓన్లీ తుకారా మెనీ భక్తాస్ వెన్ యూ రీడ్ ద బుక్స్ స్టోరీస్ లైఫ్ హిస్టరీ ఆఫ్ భక్తాస్ పీపుల్ టాక్ అబౌట్ దాట్ దట్ ఈస్ వై బిఫోర్ ప్రోబింగ్ ఇన్ టు దాట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ వేదాంత ప్రాపర్లీ వీ డోంట్ షుడ్ నాట్ సే ఇట్ ఈస్ నో ఇట్ ఈస్ రాంగ్ వీ షుడ్ నాట్ సే నో నో ఇట్ ఈస్ కరెక్ట్ ఓన్లీ వీ షుడ్ నాట్ సే లెట్ ఇట్ బి లైక్ దాట్ కీప్ ఇట్ దిస్ దేర్ neither yes nor no don't give any answer understand shastra first that's why we never bring such ideas topics until you understand shastra if you understand shastra the such questions will never arise <laughs> and there is a clarity is required that's why i'm asking ignorance about anatma atma gnana removes what mula vidya and along with that mula vidya its products what are the products body mind and world what about god god has to be included anatma or god has to be included in atma big question uh, now you can understand how much depth you are having you are a senior student or junior student you can decide hmm? god if now anatma has to be destroyed because anatma is the uh, grand uh, child of mula vidya mula vidya has to be destroyed by knowledge so knowledge directly destroys mula vidya indirectly destroys anatma anatma is body mind complex world now we are asking uh, shastra is also teaching same thing but we don't hear okay such words you have to do if you are honest and you are having intellectual honesty we are asking god you want to keep in anatma group or atma group so anatma group means you have to negate just as body you have to negate a mind you have to negate world has to negate god has to be negated if you put god in anatma or you don't want to put in god in anatma if you want to put in atma atma cannot be negated then god cannot be negated now the question is when you we ask the question can god also be included in anatma or in atma can god be negated are not negated if you ask we'll ask the question god means what according to you oh my dear according to you god means what god is uh, as um, an object of worship or god means an object of meditation 
or god means as an object of uh, puja yes swami god is an object of puja god is an object of meditation god is an object of uh, uh, worship uh, if you say what kenu upanishad said nidam edidam upasate what you are meditating upon is not real what you are worshiping is not real what you are doing puja upon whom is not real nidam edidam upasate if i understand that na idam na idam yat idam upasate na this is not real this is not real where are we if i understand kenopanishad properly can i have such doubts therefore i am not telling no local guru is telling kenopanishad directly telling nidam edidam upasate nidam edidam upasate many many times it comes but we don't remember one upanishad we study another upanishad we forget upanishad we won't forget real exact statement we forget therefore we should not forget that's why god also pleading now okay please please don't put me in anatma if you put me in anatma kena upanishad statements uh, will be true therefore uh, please keep me in atma please keep me in atma mai eva sakalam jatam mai sarvam pratishthitam mai sarvam layam yati if you keep bhagwan in atma as paramatma atma the self then bhagwan is very happy that uh, bhagwan cannot be negated because as atma as hanuman said ha huh? देह बुद्ध्या दासोहम जीव बुद्ध्यादमशक आत्मबुद्ध्यामेवाहम मे निश्चिता मति देर्फ दिस् इज कॉल सिंक्रनजिंग द स्टेटमेंट्स सिंथसइजिंग द स्टेटमेंट्स फ्रंट बैक देर हियर एंड आल एव्रीथिंग मस्ट बी क्लियर सो गाड रिक्वेस्ट दिस people who want to negate don't that's what lord krishna said manushim tanu masri navajananti ma mudha ha manushim tanu masritam he arjuna people are not taking uh, taking me as atma swarupam they are looking at me as krishna therefore i will be negated because nedam etitam upavasate it is there that's why bhagavan is also looking at what whom gnani tu atmaiva me matam me priya ha gnani is uh, always uh, wanted by bhagavan desired by bhagavan bhagavan loves gnani why gnani alone is one who never refute bhagavan that gel with the upanishadic statement because we cannot say upanishad is wrong veda mata upanishad something tagarar namak tagarar irundhe upanishad ke confusion annu solru upanishad is talking god cannot be negated as atma but as maya nama roopa ishvara edidam upasate na this is not true so therefore god means atma then god is there that is the way you have to understand atma gnanam refute all vedantins negate god and who said we negate never negate god god real nature we embrace <laughs> god unreal nature you people are are embracing and throwing the god because you are all only really speaking 
all ignorant people denying the god they are taking the fake nama roopa as real you can take that name form for worship have a nice puja room decorate bhagwan pour lot of flowers do puja but internally understanding that this is only upasana sake i have given form to bhagwan atma is alone in that forms different forms if you go to any house or any temple so many gods in forms therefore vedantic student that to naishkarma siddhi student vichara sagara student must have clarity uh, no confusion don't get confusion and confusing others better not to talk with others about all these things okay therefore god is mayeva sakalam jatam god is atma myself then god is also safe as atma he is not negated therefore bhagwan doesn't want to be negated understand okay now <coughs> sureshwara acharya ask um, uh, further four more questions is the ashraya of mula vidya is anatma number question number 1 is the ashraya of mula vidya is anatma question number 1 question number 2 is the ashraya of mula vidya is atma i am putting a different language not vichara sagara language okay vichara sagara language you know what i took in the last two classes beautiful topics going on okay third question what are the first and two questions is the um oh is the ashraya hmm, of mula vidya is atma hmm or is the ashraya of mula vidya is anatma i'll put in other way around okay uh, anatma is the ashraya of mula vidya or atma is the ashraya of mula vidya i'll put in english non self is the locus of uh, basic ignorance or self is the locus of basic ignorance ma no, sanskrit is easier to swami in english vida ani solve in english non self is the locus of basic ignorance that is anatma is the locus of uh, mula vidya or self is the locus of mula vidya self is the locus of uh, 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 ignorance basic ignorance or atma is the ashraya of uh, mula vidya two questions then third question and fourth question you know what are the third and fourth is the vishaya of mula vidya is anatma is the vishaya of mula vidya is anatma or ah, fourth question is the vishaya of anatma um, mula vidya is atma this question this way of presentation konjam kashtama irukum is the um, is the vishaya of mula vidya is anatma or is the vishaya of mula vidya anath atma another way round i'll put atma is the vishaya of mula vidya third question or anatma is the vishaya of mula vidya or atma is the vishaya of mula vidya fourth question atma is the mula vishaya of mula vidya if you put on a question mark poda mudiyadu that's why is then i raised question so anyhow if you understand this okay what is the object of ignorance of mula vidya is the non self is the object of ignorance of basic ignorance is the self is the um object of ignorance 
Self is the object of ignorance or non-self is the object of ignorance of Mula Vidya. Mula Vidya means ignorance. Ignorance of Anatma or Atma. What is the Vishaya? Atma Vishaka Agnanam or Anatma Vishaka Agnanam. Atma Vishaka Agnanam va. Atma Vishaka ag Mula Agnanam va. Anatma Vishaka Mula Agnanam va. Third and fourth question. So, totally four questions. See how difficult. Eh, no? Now you understand what Swami is so difficult. Not difficult. Vichara Sagara, thank God we have come seen in the previous two classes. Therefore, I am so comfortable. Otherwise, how you understand? Now I am so comfortable because already two classes I touched these points. So, therefore, uh, these four topics uh, is going to be discussed in this chapter. Okay, this four, these four chapters are going to be discussed in this chapter. Now, Guru is talking and student also must follow. Pinnadi uh, student subject. Along with the teacher I have to travel another. Along with the teacher's words. Okay. Now another very important point. Atma alone is the both Vishaya and Ashraya. Not one year, two years back. Last class and previous class. Okay. Brahman Atman Okay. Atma alone is the Vishaya. Atma alone is the Ashraya. Of whom? Mula Vidya. Mula Vidya is resting in Atma. Atma is the abode of Mula Vidya. Atma because Atma alone is sentient entity. Why is Swami Atma? Mula Vidya is an Atma. I told you already Mula Vidya can uh, have locus only in sentient entity. Therefore, Atma only is the sentient entity. There is no nothing else second entity in the world. Therefore, Mula uh, Vidya um, in Sankshep Shari Raka. That sloka, I will repeat once again Sankshep Shari Raka. Sarvagnatma Muni, disciple of Sureshwara Acharya, uh, might have written that sloka based on this Naishkarma Siddhi introduction, I think. Swamiji says, what he writes. Uh, Ashrayatvam Vishayatvam Bhagini Ashrayatva Vishayatva Bhagini Nirvibhaga Chitireva Kevala Nirvibhaga Chitireva Kevala Purva Siddha Tamasohi Paschimaha Purva Siddha Tamasohi Paschimaha Nashrayo Bhavati Napi Gocharaha Nashrayo Bhavati Napi Gocharaha so that sloka based is on this uh, introduction. Okay. So ashraya means locus, vishya means object. So mula vidya for which atma is the ashraya and atma is the vishya. Therefore atma agnanam, atma agnanam is in the sentient being. Now just I introduce two minutes first line at least page um, no page number they won't give uh, 91 page number okay triti yodhyaya introduction in the introduction path of my mark over the paragraph sarvo yam premiti pramana prameya pramatra lakshana ham a brahma stamba pariyam Mithyadhyasa ha eveti Mahusha upapatti bihi Atishthipam Sarvoyam What he said in second chapter He himself telling What until now I have discussed Sarvoyam In the second chapter hmm? Pramiti means knowledge Pramiti or Prama, both are one and the same. Pramiti means knowledge. Pramanam, instrument. Prameyam. Um, Pramanam means instrument. 
प्रमेयम मीन्स ऑब्जेक्ट प्रमाता प्रमाता मीन्स नोवर लक्षण लक्षण मीन्स द फ्यूचर्स ऑफ अनात्मा फ्यूचर्स ऑफ अनात्मा त्रिपुटी त्रिपुटी दे आर ऑल समरइज इन द लास्ट क्लास ओनली आब्रह्म स्तंभ पर्यत आब्रह्म फ्रम ब्रह्माजी आनवर्ड्स चतुर्मुख ब्रह्माजी आनवर्ड्स स्तंभ पर्यत अंटिल ब्लेड ऑफ ग्रैस मिथ्या अध्यास एव इति दे आर् फॉल्स दे आर् ओनली सूपर इंपोजिशन बहुश उपपत्ति बै मेनी मेनी रीजनिंग युक्ति द्वारा लॉजिकल प्रेजेंटेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी अतिष्ठिपम एस्टाब्लिश्ड ई एस्टाब्लिश्ड इन द प्रीवियस् चाप्टर द होल प्रमाता प्रमाण प्रमेय प्रमा आल आर् मिथ्या मीन एंटर् यूनिवर्स बाॉडी मैं कांप्लेक्स इज मिथ्या मोर इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओ